Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time I have my Flounderies deck profile that I took to the Columbus Regionals yesterday. I ended up getting 17th place, I went X2, um, probably could have done a lot better with the deck. Um, I didn't have much practice with it because I don't think this deck is very good. Um, I just didn't have Despia cards to play, but also before we hop in, uh, once again... I'm asking if my mic sounds okay. Some people said it sounded quiet. So if it sounds good, please just comment down below saying it sounds good. If it sounds bad, just comment down below saying it sounds bad. And going ahead and hopping right into the deck profile. Uh, I play 40 cards, obviously. And then you know, three Robin, three Eagle, standard, one Toucan standard, one Ostrich. Um, I, know, I know some people play two of this, but like you don't really want to play two of this. Also, this is one of the worst birds like these are like eagle and robin are obviously the better ones um i know some people think ostrich is better than toucan but like with how the format is built right now with like dd crow and bell like this card can be kind of weird because the hand traps that shouldn't be good game one can be good game one and you also don't really need more bird names but that is it for the little birdos and then we have Statue, Standard. Um, I played Double Empin and Mega Monarch because we didn't have a second Mega Monarch. Otherwise, it would have looked like this with Double Mega Monarch because the second Empin just, like, never comes up. Its effect doesn't come up. You can recycle it easy. Uh, but the second Mega Monarch can come up because when you're trying to crack a board, you'd summon this, and you can't bounce itself to hand because you have to, like, actually crack the board. And then... You can't recycle this anymore, so then you just need the second Mega Monarch. Um, I don't think it really came up this weekend, though. A lot of my matches were pretty quick. No, I didn't have, like, any, like, serious grind game or anything against anyone. So, uh, like, the only time the second one of those came up, uh, I was able to win that anyways. And then on to some hand traps. We have Shifter. I didn't draw this card early on in the regional, and then later in the regionals, I was drawing, like, multiples of these every hand, pretty much. Uh, this card, very good card. Uh, three Ash, DD Crow, uh, Ash Standard, uh, DD Crow. Well, I guess Ash isn't Standard. Some people play, like, high-impact cards, like Dark Ruler. Well, high-impact, but they're actually just low-impact versus, like, every deck. Uh, Ash is clean, and it was clean yesterday. DD Crow, you play one of it, it's searchable off Robin, and then it's also, like, decent going into this format. Uh, the DD Crow performed well. I don't know if you really need it, though. Like, this could end up being swapped out for something. Uh, possibly just, like, put the Crow in the side deck. And then 3 Imperm, just more hand traps. Also, this card's crazy, because, like, you can Prosperity or Duality into it. And then three prosperity, three duality, standard, three map. And I do play the terraforming. I know some people don't play this, but you really just want to see map because this card makes any of your other birds into good birds. And then uh, obviously it's just crazy. Like you just keep going. You get multiple bodies on board. Um, you need map to beat zombie world half the time. Like if, if you want to actually like break zombie world with engine, like, you have to have map to break it with engine. So, um, this is, like, another thing that's cool. Also, terraforming to search Mystic Mine is nice. So, it's, like, a going first or a going second card. You use it for multiple different things. Three Adventure, Standard. And then uh, the Mystic Mine, like I said a second ago. Uh, it's a going second card. It makes terraforming a going second card. Uh, it only came up once where it was really like super insane. And that was like the very last round, very last game. And it should have been insane game one, two, but I activated duality and I needed to see like any engine card because I had this and I had Empin in hand too. Um, but I needed to see an engine card to make this like actually like do a lot more because they had dragos to paleo and griffin and they got rid of draco back and i had mine so if i was able to like do outing any good engine card or like imperm or something then mystic mine would have just decked them out uh and then called by this card's nice uh good at stopping hand traps even good at going second against some decks uh one extravagance uh it should have been two 
I put in the unexplored winds, uh, literally like the night before, and because this was Book of Moon, and I realized you didn't really need Book of Moon, so I was like, all right, I'll put this in. It's like somewhat of an engine, like it's somewhat of a, con a consistency card, but it's also an engine card. Uh, this card was so bad, like I. I probably shouldn't have played this. Like, all the testing I've done with this deck in the past, this card was bad. But I haven't, like, tested this deck, like, with Despia. I've just theorized it because, it, like, Zombie World's in the format. So, this is, like, not really that real of a deck. Um, but it should have been Double Extravagance because I bricked a whole bunch. And it's really hard to win when you brick. And then the last card is just, you know, Dreaming. Uh, so, 40 cards in the main deck. Uh, I think... Again, like, very little changes would be done. Unexplored wins would become extravagance, absolutely. And then, like, maybe take out the DD Crow, but I don't know what I'd take out for yet. Uh, second Empen into a Mega Monarch. I don't think you need Apex to Avion. The card's just bad to draw. And then, like, all the, all the tributes are bad to draw. Um, but Apex Avion is, like, just even worse. It, it's so bad. I don't like Apex Avion. Um... And then going on into the extra deck, which I actually want to talk about the extra deck a lot. Kind of crazy, Flounderies. Um, these are absolutely standard. You have to play these. Um, realistically, since I'm playing Extravagance, these should be doubled up on. But I don't have multiples of each of these. And then Starling, this shouldn't be in here. Uh, all these cards that I'm showing now just probably should not be in the deck. Except for, uh, like, win. Win can be. But the extra deck, I didn't have, like, a real extra deck for this deck. So, you know, I was like, all right, we'll just throw cards in there. You know, like, these have graveyard effects. Omen. Uh, battle. I don't know. Oh, by the way, I don't play, like, winter cherries in the side deck or anything. It's just, like, Battle Butler gets its effect when it's in the graveyard. So, like, maybe I can summon back out a shifter, which could be cool. Um, to resolve another shifter. But, like, it, it, it's just, like, I don't know. None of, none of these cards are, like, really going to come up. So, uh, actually, I'll talk about the extra deck a little bit more after the side deck. Probably should have shown the side deck first just because it'll make things more clear. Uh, one nib in the side deck. Uh, can't afford to side deck more nib. And, actually, this did come up one time. I drew it once, and it was insane because I drew map, shifter, eagle, nib, plane versus sword soul, and then they played in the nib. And I dropped Nib on him, and I won. Uh, then I played two Skullmeister, and three Retiling C. It's just like, uh, these five right here, they all go ahead, and they stop Zombie World from coming out, as long as they don't hard draw it. I don't know about Meister in the future, but Retiling C was crazy versus Despia. Like, if you drop this... Everything gets banished, and then you can tribute off Retaliating C later on for Mega Monarch to put a card in Graveyard, kind of like Shifter, how it's like the one card that'll be in Grave. Uh, so that's cool, and then it stops the Necro Banshee from hitting Graveyard, so then they can't go for that play, they can't Mirror Jade banish you, so then like your engine's more safe, it's harder for them to get the Branded in red. So I feel like Retaliating C was like, is definitely mandatory in the side deck for this deck now. Um, and then Meister probably could have been something else. It was just like Meister stops the Necro Banshee. And then also if you play against like other matchups, uh, Skullmeister can end up coming up. Played versus Prank Kids. And I'm fairly certain. I, I like I can't remember if it was Ash or Meister. But I'm pretty sure I just Meistered them. And then they Fusion Destiny and passed. And then I drew really bad. I drew like double empin double map and i think i had one little bird it was like ostrich and i activated map in the field spell zone i was like yo any anything when i place this and they go dpe pop and i'm like no way i win I activate another map map effect and then they ogre it and i'm like oh <laughs> fair enough fair enough uh apex avian i side decked it for rogue decks and Probably just shouldn't have been in the side deck, to be honest. Uh, yeah, just, this deck wasn't built the best. I think it was just like trying to use the ideas that I had built with the deck when I was building this deck, like actually a couple weeks ago, like pre-Despio. 
uh, and then Harpies, three twin, just out back row. Uh, twin also hits anti spell. And then Trap Trick, and three Harpies Feather Storms. So you have like these cool auto win cards. You have Shifter auto win. You have Prosperity to get into these. Uh, you don't even need to draw an auto win card every time either because like your engine is auto win. Also, if it like actually gets to combo off because you just end on statue and you mega monarch their normal summon. If they play again, you dreaming town, you mega monarch them again, and then you win. Um, and that they have that like a wind extender too, which is like pretty much just griffin. Uh, there's not too many more things that can work in that scenario. But okay, now going back to the extra deck, like I was saying, I'll go ahead and move that. So, like, most of these cards, uh, four of these cards in the extra deck are actually good. And then these 11 are all bad. Now, you need Maximus targets, for sure. Uh, you should have the Nova, like, little package. I think that works pretty well. And then, I think there should have been links in the extra deck. Like, actual links. Like, Nightmare Phoenix would have came up. So Nightmare Phoenix should have been in the extra deck. Uh, a rank four should have been in the extra deck. I'm not sure exactly which one would have been the best rank four. Uh, but it actually came up with like Meister and Retaliate and C versus all three of my Despia matchups. I could have had like a rank four and then it would have been very good. Um, also the uh the like the linking thing like i said like you, like you just put retaliation c on board so like now you actually have like a way to get a body on board and then if your engine is like shut down from something or you just don't have enough engine to play really then you should have like an extra deck to be able to play with so i think this deck needs like an actual extra deck well, we didn't have access to that though and with like the no testing that we had done with the deck like the retaliating c it was just like straight theory um no actual testing with it we weren't actually thinking like oh now that i'm summoning this card like i can get rid of it and like link into an extra deck so that was something that could have been better uh my round four i ended up throwing i should have been able to uh out the board they had mirror jade on board that was already had its effect used zombie world on board uh, Imperm and Ash. I activated Terraform and they ashed it. And then I misplayed because I normal summon, I went map, reveal Robin, banish, and then I normal summon Robin and I accidentally used the effect. I don't know why I did that. And then they Impermed it, but I, I just shouldn't have used the effect because like my engine doesn't do anything. So what I should have done is I should have just like normal summon Robin, no effect, normal summon out of body, overlay assembled zeus out the board and then put them on zero cards and then i'd be able to like win that game because next turn i just like normal summon the ostrich body that i had and then i would have already had a banished body for map that i couldn't have activated to grab back anyways because you can't use the effect if you want to go into the extra deck um so i should have been able to win that round and then like obviously the whole tournament would have been different but uh it was just a regional so it's not like that big of a deal but it's cool to like see how the theory and stuff works out with the deck uh, i know it's not that crazy of a deck profile because it's just flounderies and like this deck is just flounderies you know what i mean but i, I do think that it, like if zombie world wasn't in the format that this deck would be insane and with all that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe